I'm Lisa Petrillo, and we are live here at the South Beach Wine and Food Festival. Oh, yes, it is the Triple D Diners, Drive-Ins and Dives, Guy Fieri's big event, parties all day and night going around town. It is a spectacular thing happening today. Here are 22 restaurants that he's featured in his show from all across America are here for this big party that's going to start in about a half hour for the VIPs. And, of course, the entire festival um, benefits the FIU School of of, of hospitality right here in Miami. And joining us now is the president himself, and that is, of course, Ken Jessel. Ken, thank you so much for joining us. Hi, Lisa. It's great to be here with you. My wife and I were just watching you on the stand a little while ago. Oh, that's very nice. I'm glad you were watching us. And so we want to ask you, Ken, this event that's now celebrating its 23, 23 years here right. at uh, the South Beach Wine and Food Festival, how much does it mean to you? And talk about the effects of it all for your uh, students. This is, this is an amazing event. As you mentioned, this is the 23rd year of the South Beach Wine and Food Festival. We have over 500 chefs, restaurants, food venues, beverage venues, and everyone is having a fantastic time. Over the course of four days, we're going to have over 60,000 people participating in this program. And there are so many things to do. This was the brainchild of Lee Schrager, who is the executive director of the program at Southern Glazer Wine and Spirits. And it is getting better and better each and every year. Yes, and let's just talk about for a second because um, down the road there's a there's a whole video thing. There's a you have tell me about the picture wall, and I think I might be in it as well. So tell us. Well, about we that. well we have a, a picture wall. We're using the, the greatest technology to really demonstrate the great things that we are doing here in our hospitality program. As you're walking around, you're going to see about 1,500 of our students volunteering for this program, and they learn everything from food and beverage and marketing advertising, logistics, management. This is what makes our program number eight in the country. And in terms of impact, this has generated over $40 million for FIU School of Hospitality and Tourism and Management. And we invest that in our program. We invest that in our students. A lot of scholarships, program support, and it's truly amazing. Through the years that I've been covering it, you know, you see the students backstage, back behind the sh with the chefs. You see them also in marketing. You see them at all the cocktail events. You see them. You see them everywhere. And there is no better learning experience than doing it with the very, very best chefs from around the country. It's it truly is amazing. And when you think about the number of people participating, the economic impact for this community is tremendous. I estimate it to be about $50 million just wow. from the four-day festival. When you think about all the money that's coming in, the hotels that are involved, the, the restaurants that are involved, it truly is amazing. So it's a community event. Let's talk about connection with future jobs for these students as well. They're, they're meeting the best chefs and entrepreneurs from all over in the food industry. They're meeting the best. They're working with the best. They get the best jobs because they are so prepared. Wow. And so for you yourself, uh, um, a, a little bit of work and fun, or this four days has got to be exciting for you to see I, your community. I will tell you, it's work, but it really is fun and work. I'm having a great time here, and it's great interacting with all of the visitors and the friends of the university, but more importantly, all of our students that really make it possible. Day in and day out, over the course of a year, they plan for this event. And I was going to say, so the planning starts, uh, Yvonne was telling me who works for you, kind of right after the festival. Well, the I try to give them one or two days off <laughs> and then get right back into it because it truly is a monumental event. When you when you see all of the different venues that are set up and the way that we do it, you can imagine it's a it's a full year of preparation. So quickly, the kids that are involved in all part of it, um, what, what is the, the biggest major as far as in your school right now in hospitality? Uh, well, hospitality really is a you know a general type of, of degree, but I think the food and beverage is the largest component of our major. Thank you so much, Ken, for joining us, and we'll see you around when the party yeah, gets absolutely. started tonight. We're going to party a lot tonight. All Lisa. right, enjoy the thank night. You. Thank you so much. Well, now we're going to thank you. We're going to go to a little video of a party down the road a few hours ago called Foodie Con, and that is that is with Neil Patrick Harris, the actor, and he's gone together with a bunch of influencers and foodie people to talk cocktails, and this is what the world. Is is about now again, again uh, you know, just getting together with these big influencers. And back live now on camera, one of the biggest events of the kickoff party of the year is was last night, and that is the annual Burger Bash, hosted by Rachel Ray, where 30 restaurants from all over South Florida competed for best burger. Take a look. 
It's meet, greet, and eat here at the unofficial opening night party of the 23rd annual South Beach Wine and Food Festival. It's Burger Bash, hosted by Rachel Ray, who came up with the idea to create a burger competition that would appeal to the masses. Put your work on a bun and let everybody have some fun. <laughs> Just everybody hang out, man. Lighten up, drink a beer, chill out. The weather is insane. It's never been this good. 25 restaurants from around the country competing for Heinz People Choice Award winner and Schweid and Sons Very Best Burger Award. Burger fan Veronica Frere takes this night very seriously. And I think we come here for different. We don't come here for like a cheeseburger. We come here for the king of burgers. So and, you're, and you're gonna find it tonight. I'm gonna find it, I'm gonna find it. And when I find it, I'll let you know. Others are here to just take it all in. I think it's everything. I think it's being able to like taste all different types of burgers, of different recipes, the different, you know, things that all the cooks put in. It's amazing. Pincho from Miami has won best burger two times in the past. What's the key to being a best burger every time? Uh, we, we, we try to switch it up. We try to get more and more creative every time and try to get, make a show for everybody that's attending the, the Burger Bash. Skinny Louie, also from Miami, is a first-time competitor with a long line of fans. We opened three months ago. We're rocking. We're doing 2,000 burgers a day. So you can see the line. Everybody's enjoying. The proof is in the pudding. You have the biggest line here so far. Yeah, I love that. Festival founder Lee Schrager told me it's the weather that's the win for him. The burgers are going to be good. The, 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 the wine spirits are going to be great. The talent's going to be great. But if it's not great weather, nothing else matters. That's all people remember. So thank you, Miami Beach, for this incredible weather. And you know what? He's right because it's beautiful tonight as well. We want to tell you the winners now. Pincho, who we just saw on that piece, they won the People's Choice Award from Heinz. And Cowie's Burger won the Judges Award. So two big winners. That means a third win for Pincho. And now coming up in just a few minutes when we come back, we're going to meet the man who started it all, the founder, Lee Schrager, our one-on-one -on -one exclusive interview with him just after the break. What's the South Beach Wine and Food Festival without a little bit of taste of the town? Well, we are sticking with this whole beach thing and heading a little north down the road for a wonderful restaurant called Ocean Social by Chef Tristan Epps. Take a look. It's easy, breezy, oceanfront dining here outside the iconic Eden Rock Hotel on Miami Beach. At the helm of Ocean Social is Trinidadian-born chef Tristan Epps, who was formerly executive chef at Red Rooster. He says the vibe is in the name. So us having like one of the only really ocean view restaurants, it's the vibe is really just, it's really chill. It's like you're hanging out in your backyard with a bunch of friends and uh, your backyard is the beach. But don't be fooled by the relaxed ambiance. His cuisine is seriously chef driven. Epps, who was recently named the James Beard Foundation semi-finalist for the Best Chef South Award, uses his roots and experience in travel as the backbone to his seafood driven menu. We want to meld in all the cuisines that kind of come and make up Miami, right? Those Haitian, those Afro-Caribbean, the Latin American cuisines that really kind of pull Miami together. So speaking of Afro-Caribbean, you, it, it is Black History Month. How important is it for you to kind of educate people on some of these concepts? I mean, it's I, I feel like it's my life's work, you know? More and more, we're starting to kind of educate ourselves about how Black History food and Black food really is American food and how it's really melded into and created the, the wealth that is uh, American food and cuisine. During this week's South Beach Wine and Food Festival, Tristan is co-hosting a dinner with three other top chefs here at Ocean Social. I mean, this is for chefs. This is our like our Coachella, right? This is our this is our time where we know a bunch of other like-minded people are around. People are really open to food, great wine, great conversation. Once again, the beach just does not hurt. In the kitchen, he prepares some of our tasting dishes, starting with a cracklin octopus with chicharron, golden mole, bacon fat, and pineapple. The biggest thing for me, honestly, is the combination of that char of the octopus, which I love. People don't yeah. cook it enough to meat without without making it tough on the inside, which you did, and then that Caribbean Afro mango feel. Yeah. Perfect blend.
fun. Next, a unique and wonderful Key West shrimp toast with ahi amarillo, garlic, honey, and mustard. Then this work of art, Rohan duck presse with heirloom Florida rice grits, jerk artichoke, and red cabbage jam. Really unique te texture on that rice. Like mm -hmm. you said, kind of a grit filling. But lighter. Lighter. We end on the chef's version of banana pudding with plantains, cookie crumble, and banana ice cream. Simply heavenly. It's not many times that I'm speechless. It's just like, yep. mind blowing. It was mind blowing. Now, ju just down the road, Tristan, who you just saw there, is having his event. As I said, lots of parties. Now, this South Beach Wine and Food Festival that is so global and known all over the world right now started as a tiny little fair. And the guy who created the entire concept and moved it here to the beach is the one and only Lee Schrager. We sat down with him recently. Take a look. It's just hours away from Food Network South Beach Wine and Food Festival now celebrating its 23rd year. This year's festival spans four days with more than 110 events featuring more than 500 chefs and personalities attending tastings and parties day and night. So this is a learning space it's as a learning well. Space, sure. We're here at SGWS Wynwood, a training and hospitality space in the offices of festival founder Lee Schrager. It was his idea to take the festival out of its original space at FIU campus to the sands of South Beach all those years ago. So the dead of winter in South Beach, um, partnering with the Food Network as our title sponsor, you know, it kind of was a home run, you know, riding the wave of the Food Network. And celebrity chefs, the beginning of the that celebrity That was the beginning, chef. yeah. It was, you know, at that point, you know, chefs were becoming rock stars and rock stars were becoming chefs. Rock star chefs like Bobby Flay, Guy Fieri, Jada De Laurentiis, and Martha Stewart, to name a few. Till this day, Martha Stewart comes to the South Beach Wine Food Festival. Absolutely. Yeah, I, I just, you know, she is, uh, you know, she is probably that one constant, but Martha is still, you know, one of the most focused people that we know and that I have the pleasure of, you know, having here at the festival every year. Lee said it was Rachel Ray who came up with the idea for what's arguably the festival's most popular event, Burger Bash. But Rachel loves burgers, as do I. And Rachel said, we need to do a, like a burger event, a big burger bash. And I said, okay, and that was it. It was her idea, and we kind of ran with it. But aside from the food and fun, the festival is truly about giving back. To date, it's raised more than $37 million in support of its mission to eat, drink, and educate for the FIU Chaplain School of Hospitality and Tourism Management. Lee credits the chefs and personalities who donate their time and talent. It's the only way that the festival has survived for 23 years and continued to raise funds for the, for the Chaplain School of Hospitality by, you know, the, the, by you know, surviving off the goodness of others like the Bobbies and Rachels and Tylers and Guy Fieri's and people like that. We have never, ever paid talent. How does it really benefit these students? Well, first and foremost, it benefits them by the opportunity they get to work alongside these chefs, by the winemakers, by the distillers coming in. So to work alongside of them, I can't begin to tell you how many people get jobs from this. First-hand experience with the best of the best. For literally with the best of the best. I see it firsthand. Mm -hmm. Ticket prices are high. Parties like Burger Bash average around $275 per person. This year they've added more events under $100 a person. The festival's not inexpensive. It's incredibly expensive. It's just an expensive event to bring in over 600 people. We have ground transfers, we have insurance, we have marketing, we have building, you know, we build a village on the beach. We build an Olympic village on the beach and that's incredibly expensive. Mm -hmm. So yes, it's expensive. I never ever make light of that and you know, I wish it could be more affordable. What do you think it does for this community as a whole, this yearly festival that now is so on the map globally? I, I would say that's probably you know, the most rewarding part of the festival is what it's done for the communities. And of course, for me, it's given me an opportunity to do what I love best, you know, eating, drinking, and seeing my friends. Good thing to be proud of. Indeed. Certainly a lot, a lot to be proud of. Now we are outside at Tom's Barbecue and Deli from Memphis, Tennessee, where he's making up some mean br beef brisket sandwiches. They are smoked beef, they are barbecuing. That is Adam right there, along with 22 other restaurants that Guy Fieri has in Flavor Town has featured in his big TV show. Take a look at the sandwich right here. Ladies and gentlemen, I think it's time for us to eat. So thank you for joining us on our, our special here from the South Beach Wine and Food Festival. I'm Lisa Petrillo. Have a wonderful night.